Apple Watch family setup, an Apple Watch for your child so they can make and receive calls and messages and you can check their location no matter where they are. If family setup is something that you've been thinking about, you're gonna wanna watch this video. Stick around and I'll tell you what you need to know. Hi, the Brad Lloyd and today I'm talking to you about family setup on the Apple Watch. When Family Setup was announced last fall, my wife and I looked at each other and we instantly knew this is something that we wanted for our daughter. We ordered it as a Christmas gift, but when we went to activate it, things got a little complicated. It's a great option, but there is a lot to consider. In this video, I'm going to go through everything you need to know to help you decide if this is the right option for you. But first, let's talk a little bit more about what is Family Setup. What it's not is a special Apple Watch that's designed for children. It doesn't have padded casing or stronger glass. It's literally just a regular Apple Watch. The difference here is you can give the watch to your child and they don't need a companion iPhone. Now to set up the Apple Watch for your child, you do need to have an iPhone yourself as the parent and you can access the Apple Watch on the Watch app within your iPhone. The idea here is keeping your children connected but unlike giving them an iPhone, they're not likely to get lost in apps like Roblox or Netflix or Minecraft or YouTube. I think the target audience here are the tweens, pre-adolescents, so parents that aren't ready to give their child a phone, but they want the added comfort of GPS tracking and giving their child the ability to make and receive phone calls and messages. My daughter's 10, she's gonna be 11 next month, so she fits right into this category. And she just recently started walking to and from the bus stop with her younger brother. She'll also take him to the park sometimes, and in the summer she'll go for a bike ride. So for my wife and I, the added comfort of knowing we can check her location or send her a message, or she can give us a phone call if something's wrong is definitely very valuable. So let's talk more specifically about what you can do with family setup and then we'll go through some of the restrictions and other considerations that you're gonna to wanna to know. Well, like I said off the top, kids can make and receive phone calls and messages on their Apple Watch, just like any regular Apple Watch. Now, as a parent, you can manage their contacts. However, your child still has the ability to enter in any number manually, so definitely something you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind. The walkie-talkie feature is also available, so if you have other Apple Watch users in your house, then that's a feature that might be helpful to you. Users can connect their Apple ID and see reminders, calendars, and even shared photos. If enabled, you can also view your child's location through the Find My app. You can also set up location-based notifications, so maybe you wanna know when your child's left school. If you have an Apple Music subscription, then your child can listen to music on their Apple Watch by using either AirPods or other Bluetooth headphones. Apple Cash is available for family setup. So Apple Cash sounds like a cool feature, but it's not available here in Canada. But for US customers, you can fully take advantage of that. Also worth noting here, Apple Pay for debit and credit cards, that is just not available with family setup at all. Apple's introduced a school time feature that allows you to schedule periods of do not disturb time throughout the day. Children can disable this by turning the digital crown on their Apple Watch. And if they do that, then the parent will get a notification that it was disabled. Other apps like Maps, Timers, and Weather are all available on Family Setup. The App Store is also available and you'll have the option to turn on Ask to Buy in order to approve your child's downloads. The Fitness app will also be available to your child so they can close their rings. And for children under 13, you'll have the option to change the move goal from calories burned to minutes of activity. And then there's my daughter's favorite, the Memoji app. So your child can create their own Memojis right from their Apple Watch. Now let's take a look at some of the restrictions and other things that you're gonna to wanna to consider before deciding if this is the right option for you and your family. Family setup is compatible with series four, five, six, and SE. And of those models, only the six and SE are still currently sold. And because there's no companion iPhone with this, you need to choose the cellular version. That means a starting price here in Canada of $429 for the SE or $659 for the Series 6. And keep in mind here, you're giving this Apple Watch to a child, so you might want to consider a protection plan like Apple Care Plus. That's going to run you another minimum $65. Now, for that $65, it gives you a couple years of 
protection, including two accidental claims per 12 month period. Now, each of those claims, it's gonna cost you another $89. So cost is definitely a factor. And with a cellular Apple Watch comes a cellular plan. That means another $10 per month here in Canada. You can see here on the Bell website, it's listed for $15 with a $5 discount. So it works out to $10 uh, currently at least. Sleep tracking is a new feature on the Apple Watch, but it is not available with family setup. Personally, this isn't a feature that I use since at night I'm charging my watch. And that leads me to another point and that is charging. You're not gonna receive more than 24 hours of charge on any of these watch models. So making sure that these watches are charged at the end of each night is gonna be important. There are some apps that are not available, like the remote app, podcasts, and news. And most notably absent to me is the home app. That means that your child is not gonna have access to any of your home kit accessories, so they're not gonna be able to unlock doors or even turn lights on or off. Another important consideration is carrier availability, and this is a big one, and one that caused me a lot of frustration when I went to set it up. I called my wireless carrier, which was Rogers, a couple of days before Christmas. I read off a few numbers from the box. I got a phone number, 10 bucks a month. I got a gig of data, a pretty simple phone call. But when I went to set it up on Christmas with my daughter, I couldn't get past the cellular screen. It just would not let me set up cellular. So I contacted Apple support and even they had trouble figuring out what was wrong. I was transferred a couple of times and spent a lot of time on hold. And it was through my own research while on hold that I found a page, it was an article from Apple that had carrier availability per country. And I see that only Bell is the only available carrier in Canada. So that was a problem for me. That means I could not activate it with Rogers. So I contacted Rogers to cancel my recent activation and then I called Bell. I had to contact Apple support again and Honestly guys, I find Apple support to be great, especially once you get to their you know, level two more advanced technicians, but they really had trouble with this one. I think it's just a new feature and they weren't very familiar with it. They did eventually discover that I, as the parent, needed to be on the same cellular network as my child. Now, lucky for me, my contract with Rogers had just expired. I actually had a new iPhone 12 in the mail, but I hadn't received it yet, so it hadn't extended my contract by two years. So I was able to cancel it and set up new service and order a new phone through Bell, and it took a couple weeks, but it ended up working out fine. Once I got my phone, it was honestly, it was a breeze. It was so easy to do, but man, uh, I, if I only I knew that, and Perhaps I should have done my research and I should have looked into it a little bit further, but honestly, it was pretty straightforward to me. I'm activating an Apple Watch. I really didn't think anything of it and uh, it definitely just caused a lot of free frustration. Uh, I later realized as well that the service was only available with Bell since the middle of December, so it's very close to not being able to use this service at all. So carrier availability, very important. I'm gonna put the link in the description, so please check that you have a local carrier that will support this for you. In Canada, it's only gonna be Bell. I did ask Rogers when they're going to support this and it was a pointless question. They really just had no idea what I was talking about. So after having family set up for about a month now, I do personally like it, despite all the frustration at the beginning and despite the expensive price tag, I do think for me, it's worth it. I just really do value knowing that I can send a message to my daughter, she can send a message to me, I can track her location. My daughter likes it as well. She likes to use the Memoji app to create new Memojis and she plays downloaded games from the app store on the bus. There are a couple changes that I would like to see Apple make and one of them is access to the home app. I think it'd be pretty easy to have parental control so parents can choose which accessories to give their kids access to and maybe which ones to restrict. I also think it would be helpful if there was a watch app within the iPad. So for children who have an iPad, they could access their Apple Watch and change settings like watch faces right from the iPad. For me, I like to change settings on my Apple Watch through my iPhone. I just find it easier on a larger screen. So I think for children with iPads, that would just be a helpful option. Lastly, there's also been interest in family setup with people who have elderly loved ones. 
A phone may not make sense, but a watch may, and you could turn off some of the restrictions and location tracking services. Your elderly loved one can take advantage of things like fall detection, medical ID, irregular heart rhythm notifications, emergency SOS, and use the extra large watch face that's super easy to read. One thing I do want to point out though is the blood oxygen feature on the Apple Watch Series 6 is not available with family setup. So just something to keep in mind if that's something you were thinking about. Okay, I hope you liked this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel so you can see more of my videos where I talk about Apple products with a focus on HomeKit. And let me know in the comments below, is family setup something that you'd think about for your child? And I'm really curious, at what age would you consider just giving your child a phone? Okay, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.